I hear you, Jace. Hi, Clint. Hi, Pam. How are you guys? Hello. Hello. Sleeping. Hi, girls. Hello. No. She must be alive. It's never a social call. <sighs> yeah, I don't go on Facebook and make social calls. <laughs> No, I was watching something on YouTube. I'm going to share it to YouTube. Oh. Are you live? Yeah. Okay. She's going to make me a heart grocery Hi, tote Phyllis. bag, I believe. Well, you see well this I'm pattern? getting a round circle. You see this pattern I posted on the Facebook? I took it down. You did? Both of them? Yes. <laughs> it's absolutely wrong. No, I was watching something on YouTube. I'm going to share that is not YouTube. me. Are you live? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. That's me. Sorry. <laughs> Dead. Go ahead, Ruby. So, yeah, I can't. Uh, I, I, I scrapped it. So, <laughs> I'm not going to give any measurements or nothing till I make it. Because I am oh. not making a big ass bag like that. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be big with all them squares. 28 and a half by 26 and a half, Martha, is very big. It's big enough to carry two gallons of milk. No, no, no. It, it's not big. <laughs> no. Hi, everybody. It is this big. This is 28, 28 and a half by 26 and a half. So we are not making a bag that big. Hell to the no. That is just <laughs> ridiculous. You'll see how big this is. <laughs> It'll carry uh, probably a case of milk, Martha. Hi, Jen. Hello, everyone. Come say hi. Come say hi. Come here, baby. Go say hi. Oh, I think you did a number in your pants. Here, lay down. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi, Chase. Hi, Chase. Say hi. Hi, Chase. Uh, hi, go hi, Jan. Hi, Pam. But, I'll be right back. I got to change his butt. <laughs> change his butt. I really didn't think she was going to go live, but then I was thinking, well, if she does, it's probably not till after Chase. Oh, my gosh. He's growed. Oh, he is so stinking cute. He's growed. Yeah, oh, my goodness. He's a handsome little boy. Hi, Chase. What up, dude? He's gone. He can't hear us. She's already taken him out of the room. Yeah. Hi, Edith. Hi, Jan. Hi, Clint. Hi, Yvonne. Um, who else have I missed? Martha. Karen, Pamela, Bill, Suzanne. Okay, we got. Do Edith. we got two girls here? I what? keep thinking Edith Ann every time I see her name. <laughs> Is both our Phyllis's here? We have Karen and we also have Kathy on panel. Kathy and Martha. Um, and me. And and Ruby. <laughs> Let's not forget Ruby. Oh. <laughs> the main attraction. <laughs> Are you feeling okay, Kathy? Is your back doing okay, hon? It's doing okay, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, I'll go back Tuesday and then hopefully they'll schedule me for a next set that I need. So, okay. So, yeah, I'm hungry. just a, I'm hungry. Hopefully, I get those. I'll be in good shape. Good, good. Yeah, because they last six months. So, they off. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut it on you. No, you didn't. Oh, what are you doing, Martha? I'm getting a day old cookie to eat. Oh, she's in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hi, Pam. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Edith. I don't know if I said hello to you yet. If I did, I'm sorry. Or whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> hi, Edith. Hi, Edith. My screen keeps flipping around there. Now I think I got it. There we go. I need to get some ice water. I'll be right back, okay. Kathy. All right. You even, your voice even sounds stronger. That just makes me happy. Oh. <laughs> Okay, he's clean again. All right. I hate changing poopy diapers. So, whoever downloaded this, hi Edith, hi Ra, hi Sharon. Don't don't cut this out yet till I have this all proper because this is all wrong. Leave it till I finish it, and I'll read out the whole pattern, okay? But we're still going to make this heart from Missouri Start Hill Co Company. We're going to still make the heart, but we're going to applique it on, and I'm going to show you how to applique it. It's super, super easy. Okay? So, these are going to be my two and a half inch strips I'm going to use, and this is called Free Spirit by I don't know who. Oh, push. Uh, oh, it's Tula Pink. This is Tula Pink's colors. Wow. I love her style. So we're going to cut. We need 170. We need 172. Wait, no, sorry. We need 142. Two and a half by two and a half inch squares. So I'm just going to grab some colors here. Got to have purple. Mm -hmm. And I'll put a green in here. Why do I keep doing that? bit of yellow. Let's do this one here. Uh, I'll do another purple. This one's so pretty. That one. All right, how many do we have here? Two... Two, four. I think cutting through ten layers is going to be good enough. Because that's a lot of fabric. Ten layers. We'll see how much ten layers will give us. So there actually, there's actually twenty layers here. There's no two, four, six, eight. There's ten. So I'm cutting through ten layers of fabric. You guys don't want to do that. Believe me. No. <laughs> That's a lot of fabric. Hi, Pam. Hi, Pam. Look. What? I was saying hi to the Pam. Oh, I thought Martha said something. No, no I think I'm eating. Oh. oh, she's eating. What are you eating? You having tacos? A coney. Did you yeah, say that? Mondays, Mondays they have bogo. You buy one, get one. Two dollars and eleven cents out the door. There you go. Honey. 
So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Hopefully I can cut 70, and I think I'll have no problem getting 70 out of here. So we need 71 for each heart. There's 60, 70, and some more scraps. So I'm actually going to get rid of this little stack and put this stack here and that stack. And we need 71. So we'll just take another. I don't care. I'm just going to put this aside for now. So let's get 10 more and we can cut this. 10. So we'll get one of these. So I need to layer five on top of here. What you want? Oh, this one's cute too. What you want? We. Black This one's pretty. You want Four. this? And. Hi, Rachel. Bye, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. I think I got everybody. Again? <laughs> I already talked to Rachel earlier. Oh, she oh. said hi. Hi, Pamela. Um, all right, what other color do I want? Oh, these little owl butterflies. Martha, look at the owl butterflies. They're so cute. I think I'll use... I'll use this owl butterfly one, because Martha will like this one. <laughs> it's actually a butterfly with owl eyes. <laughs> Oh, as you get it on there, I'll see it. Yeah, you'll see it. Like the purple. Oh, one I can see it. It's so stinking cute. Oh, I see it in the corner. Look at it. That's an owl. Oh, I mark you. Oh. Actually, I believe them are moths. Moths have the eye-looking things on them. No, it's got a butter. It's got an owl look in it. See, Tula Pink, she incorporates a lot of nature in hers. So I think she did that on purpose because that is so cute. It's on that blue one, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it. Yeah. Hello. Are you saying hi? Say hi. Hi, Chase. Say hi, Karen. Chase, say hi, Karen. Hi, Chase. You going to say hello? Say hi, Karen. He's probably trying to figure out where the voice is coming from. He's looking at my computer. <laughs> say hi. 10, 20, 30. Don't spill that. 40. We need 71 for each heart. 40, 50, 50, because I'm getting rid of that pile. 50, 50, 60, and 70. Okay. Now, I'm going to save some of this here for the binding, because we're going to be binding it. And I'll pick which one of these I'll put in when I need it. So we need binding, and we're going to need straps. I might even make my straps out of this, so two of these together. Is that too much? No. And just make straps out of this because then all of the bag will match. So I'm going to put these aside for look at this pink one, even has the owl and owl mm -hmm. butterfly. And this is psychedelic, but there's I actually like that if you psychedelic look, one. there's a horse in there and something mm -hmm. else in there. So I want to lay out my hearts before I do sew them together. So I'm just going to go through my pack here and pick out, I should have cut those stupid jagged edges off, but I never thought of it. 
All right. So we'll start here. One. Hi, so so wants to know if this pattern is from a kit. No, I'm making it up. Oh, no, but the heart is a Missouri Star Quilt Company made a heart quilt like uh, this. Um, so there was only five fabrics in that one. So there's five, six, seven. Nine. Okay, so it's nine, and then it's there. Don't want two purples. That one, that one. No, nope, I'm going to put that one up there. I don't want another one of those yet. Ooh. Nope, that one's too close to that one. So I'm going to switch these two. That's why it's a good idea to lay out your heart before you start it. Hi, Heidi. Hey, Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Heidi. That one. Pam says, anything hippie style, I'm game. Yeah, it is kind of groovy, isn't it, Pam? Yeah, it's very <laughs> funky cat fabric. Funky. Send you some sort quick. Yeah. So you don't have to lick your fingers. wheels on that bag. <laughs> I might cut this down. I might make it smaller. More. Man, that thing's long. But don't forget, none of these pieces are sewed together. together. It's going to shrink mm -hmm. right up. Oh, okay. that's true yeah. too, yeah. She ain't gonna have a bag, she's gonna have a sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking you stick some canned goods in there and you could work out with it. There you go. Mm -hmm. Two so, in bag. Mm. Cassie was here. I should have sworn I heard her say hi, monkey. But I must be hearing things. Yeah, this is a. Big he got all quiet. Did he fall asleep beside you or something? No. <laughs> no, he's he's around. He heard something. <laughs> Play with. <laughs> He's the cutest little thing. Cute. I need one. Okay. When I get done with this heart, it isn't going to be this big. I'll be right back. Oh, I forgot she was making a Dada. Armor. How are you, Dada? Kathy. Hi, Dada. Dada. Hi, Dai-Dai. If you get it too big, it will get too heavy to carry. Right, Dai-Dai? That's why I said put wheels on it. Well, make a really Ruby, like Ruby said, though, it's not sewn together. It's going to come become smaller as she yeah. sews the seams together. Yeah, all those fourth inches. Yeah, but not much smaller. But it will. That would make it two and a half just for that row there if you did the seams. Yeah. 
No, it does, doesn't it, Pam? Mind you, the coat of many colors. I love that song. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. Clay and I subscribed and I watched your videos. Good job. Uh, still here like it was early. Oh my I'm sure I'm not saying your name right, um, and I apologize for that, but that's the best I can do. <laughs> Yannabe, Yannabe, yeah. Welcome. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I've seen the movie. I think she has two of them, if I remember right. Cantaloupe. I gotta go knock on my cantaloupe and see if it's ripe enough. <laughs> mother have to take him home? I don't know. <laughs> she had no right. I don't think she'd agree with you, Red. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. Um, that would be me. No. Just leave him here. I got it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I can handle it. Just come on. <laughs> So, oh, I'm missing some over here. <laughs> Whoops. Put that one there. And we're getting there. So we'll put that one there. That one there. Switch this one out. No, not that one. I'm gonna switch that one out for that. Put some more green in there. Same with here. I'm gonna put one there because it's just not enough. <coughs> I'll put that there. And I don't know what else. One here. That's too close to that. We need to break up colors. That one, nope, that's too close to that one. It sounds just like me. I do the same thing. No, that can't be next to that one. It's both pink. Yeah, I'm trying not to get them too close to each other. Mm -hmm. And then you need one there. Oh, that's cute. Open one up. there. And we need Open. one more here. Mm. That's too close. God, I had 10 different fabrics. Oh, well, that one there. Okay. 
And then we're going to put one here. This looks big, but don't forget it's spread out. Yeah. Hi, Jamal. Hi, Jamal. Hi, Jamal. And three more. Like I got two of the same in one row. I'm gonna put that there. That one there. That one there. I need a teal one. I need this horse's butt. Oh, that's the same fabric. Come on. Uh, okay. So these two here are too close to the same. So I'll put that there instead. Okay, so there is one heart. And it looks humongous. And it is humongous. I'm really seriously thinking of subtracting an entire row of all of these. Whoops. Four and two. And making it one row smaller. And it's still gonna be a big bag. No. No, and I want to get rid of one of these middle rows. So I'm gonna get rid of this middle row here. And I'm gonna push it together. And then when I sew it all together, I'm gonna put one more piece. One more piece down here like that because I don't want it this big because it's going to be an applique. So to, in order to keep its shape, we'll do it this way. Okay, so I took out a whole row. A little funky looking two three four and then these two will be sewed on it like that so move these over hopefully you guys can see it hi river and these two will be sewed on like that hi buddy like hi jamal there that's way smaller guys way smaller so I'm just going to put these off to the side. So now I have way more squares than what I anticipated being in. Well, hi, Kathleen Brandt. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. So what I'm going to do is get sewing these. <clears throat> put my pattern here. Oh, and I'll show you guys one of the patterns we're going to do, and it's called the braid. This one here. And I'll show you, I'm using grunge fabric. This is all grunge fabric. It's fabric strips, 22 and a half inch strips. And then I have another pattern I'm going to work on. So I'm going to make three bags. Okay, so I'm going to keep my iron on. I'm gonna put it over there. Put that there. And the first things first is I'm just going to sew these two pieces together. Ooh. That's gorgeous. Okay. And I'm going to sew this one right here in the middle of this. So let me just give this a little iron with my fingernail. And then I'll sew this piece in the middle. So let's fold it in half because that'll give me the true middle. And then I could just line it up with the with the seam. And then I'll know it's in the middle. So that will be a piece. So I'm just gonna put a clip on it because I don't want it to shift or move while I'm sewing. Hi BJ, I don't think I saw you. I'm missing my use. Hi, BJ. Hi, 
Bye, BJ. Okay. Then we'll just fold this out. Hi, Sadie Spincraft. Sadie Spincraft. Hello. Okay, so I'm going to sew these two together. So you want one seam going one way, one going the other, because you have to nest everything. So I'm going to do that right now. Actually, no, I don't want to do that yet, because maybe I could get all my rows and then I'll nest them. But I'll just make sure I put them all the right way. And this piece is kind of upside down because that looks like a horse's butt. What it is. This seam has to go that way. I'll be right back. I've got to check, see if I need to pick up my great niece from school. So I'll sure. be right back. And I'll press them as soon as my iron gets hot enough. Uh, BJ, according to the name of the show, it's how to make a large grocery tote bag. Yes, ma'am. I do that same thing. What do you make? And then it's like, oh, read the name of the the, the film. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. This scene has to go that way. What kitty cat? Two more here. So I have altered this pattern down smaller. Well, hi, Britt. Hi, Britt. How are Don't you, Sadie? Thumbs up, ladies. Hi, Paula. Okay, that one there. Sadie says, I would love to be able to quilt, but I can't sew. Ha ha ha. But I love watching them being made. Aw, that's wonderful. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. All right. So, this seam needs to go this way now. Hi, Paula. Okay. So now I can iron all these pieces. So that one's ironed. That one's ironed. That one. And I'm making sure one, one seam's going one way, one's going the other way. And that one. And I'm actually going to switch these around. Oh, I can't. No, BJ, I don't think she's even got a half, not even a quarter way done. She said, did I miss out on the finish of the lovely ombre fabric quilt? No, I put that aside. No, I wanted to make these bags, so I put it aside. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Not a whole lot showing yet. So I'm going to take these two pieces at the top. I'm just going to sew these two pieces together. And I'm back. I will press it that way. Okay. You got to pick them up, Kathy? No, Mama's feeling well enough to go get her, so. Okay, uh -huh. fine. And then we'll sew these two pieces that is upside down well this is directional fabric so I gotta be careful a lot of it's directional we need to go that way This has to join to there. 
So this has to go the other way. Okay. Hang on. Can't have seams nesting the same way. Because they won't go together properly. <coughs> that one's good. And then we'll fix this one. And we'll have it go this way. Alright. That one's good. And then we'll do these two. This one to go there. There we go. And that's upside down. No. <laughs> Can't say this is one of my favorite fabrics because I'll be lying. Hi, everybody that I missed. Okay, so those are done. So I'll do this Hi, Layla. So this Hi, Layla. Oh, and Deborah. Who else did I miss? Hold on, go. Uh, says, I've been making market bags off and one in preparation of it being requirement. I've made oilcloth, denim, and quilting cotton bags. Nice. Same way because it's got to get attached. Oh, hi, Deborah. Never hi, Deborah. In. That one. And I'll sew these two together. Actually, I'm going to sew these two together. I'm so bummed out. Who is? Uh -oh. My. My. What is this? My, um. Cantaloupe. It's not. It's not as right as I thought it was. Oh. Ooh, that must be gross. No, it's still got a good flavor, but it just that is mushy. Yeah, it, it ain't as juicy or anything. Yeah. So this is one, two, three, four there. Okay. Um, so I'll sew these two pieces together. Been baggies in the refrigerator. You think it was still ripen? I know tomatoes will. In the I don't know. In the I brown paper know. bag. No, I don't, I don't know. know if that'll work for a cantaloupe. Yeah, I don't either. We'll see. So that seems we'll find out, huh? <laughs> uh huh. If it doesn't, I'll just throw it out to the birds. There you go. Counting flowers on the wall. Yep, this is directional fabric. I'm not impressed. I don't like directional fabric very much. Ryan says, Mark, how is your wedding album coming along? Well, I should be in there working on that too. I've got the back of one page to do, and then I can start putting it all together. And then decorating and doing the, the cover of it. Get her done. 
Huh? Get her done. Yeah, no kidding. Well, I worked on it the other day and got that one page done. It looks pretty nice. Very simple, very simple page. What do you want, Holly May? This one out for that. I already gave you treat. I, I gave you some coney. I gave you food. Why don't you go eat it? No, go eat it. She wants to snuggle with you, Mama. See, so you just gotta tell her. Now she went on into the kitchen to go eat. You don't want it. I'm not giving it and giving you any more. I got one in here. Let's have What? I hate cantaloupe. What? I don't like cantaloupe. I don't like honeydew. Ugh. I like cantaloupe more than I do. Uh, Honeydew. Honeydew is my favorite. Yeah. Love honeydew. But they had these, the cantaloupes for only two fifty a piece at Save No, that ain't bad. Mm -mm. I love watermelon. Oh, I love oh, watermelon. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No. I could eat watermelon till I feel sick. Yeah. Put a little salt on it. Mm -hmm. No, no salt. salt. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. Yeah, oh, lots man, of I, put salt on I it. did salt on watermelon one time, and I choked so hard I almost threw up at the restaurant. So oh, I did no. not put salt on my... Salt on it. No. <laughs> Patsy, Papa put salt on his watermelon. He does? Yes, he does. No. Joe, Joe does too. He salts his apples. He salts his watermelons. My dad always salted his apples, or he ate like salty pretzels with it or something. <laughs> uh huh. I I just don't. I don't. No, nope. I don't care what anybody says. It does not make it sweeter. <laughs> nope. I can't eat salt on any fruit. Mm -mm. Never have, and I just. I can't even picture doing it. Mm, that's good. That's what I really it is. Fruit is good with salt on it, but man, when you breathe it in and get it in your lungs, that's a big mistake. Oh, no, yeah. well, I don't like it. So oh. after that, after that incident, I've never had salt on my fruit anymore. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, I don't blame you there. I couldn't find the watermelon yeah. anywhere, so I got cantaloupe because I'm craving fruit bad. Fruit's good for you. Yeah, I can't even buy a whole watermelon. I gotta buy pieces that are already sliced up. Yeah. No, we don't even have that. I mean, there is no watermelon right now in Tennessee anywhere that I'm local to. Oh. see nothing. <laughs> grab this piece. Yes, Bonnie. Salt on watermelon. I yep. got vodka. Vodka in watermelon. <laughs> oh, yum. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the salt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just take my watermelon plain these days. Cherry bombs. Stick your cherry. Empty all your cherry juice out and just fill it up with Vodka, oh, wait about a week or so. <laughs> then you could have one heck of a cherry martini. <laughs> oh, I don't like martini with that one. I don't drink any more anyway. I know it's well, That's Patsy, what I've never been here. Watermelon in a small container. I've never been told to either. There's a um, place 
That's right on the ocean line in Flagler Beach down in Florida. And they make you um, frozen watermelon with sake in it. With what in it? Sake, I think it's called. Oh, sake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sake. I didn't know that. Sake is a hot wine, like. Yeah, oh, well, they, right, right. You know, they, they take watermelon and freeze it and then yeah. put the shot in there. We right. went down to Florida for my brother's wedding, and Joe wanted to stay on the beach coming back, so we made plans. We had days off for that and everything, and we stopped at that little thing. And um, But I was on pain pills at the time, for my hip replacement. And um, Joe said, they've got a watermelon slush here. Can you want me to get you that? And I said, yeah, that sounded really good, you know? And... Um, I want to get up and I want to giggle. <laughs> and Joseph, Karen, you know there's nothing in there. And I was like, I won't be so sure. <laughs> and the next day he asked, yeah, they put sake in it. <laughs> That's why I was giggling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a hot tea. In the water No. Oh, I don't know where they put it. I thought sake was like a fermented. It is. Sake is a food. Made in Japan or China. It's a Japanese drink. Because my son has it every time he goes for sushi. Mm. Ah. Yeah, we should show him a sushi. kick your butt if you're not used to drinking. Oh yeah, it's very strong. They only let you have one drink at the restaurant. Oh wow. Yeah. Never had sake. I to me is I would say it doesn't have a flavor, that's for sure. Um but like maybe a homemade moonshine, it's strong. Well, the neighbors are home. I've never had homemade moonshine either. Oh, I have. Woo, potent stuff. Yeah, I've never had straight moonshine, but I had homemade wine based off of moonshine. Oh my gosh. Me and Joe woke up, woke up the next day, and there was cups all over the place. We still didn't know to this day if we ever had people over or not. What they make? That red wine, yuck. Oh, my grandpa, he was Polish. He always made Krupnik. Uh, what is that? What is that? Is that a bit? Um, I believe it was like vodka, honey, and something else. And then you let it sit and form it for, I don't know, maybe a month. Oh, wow. Oh. Too bad you don't have his recipe. Yeah, well, I never got to all my mom's recipe boxes. I don't know if I wrote it down. I don't know. I have to go through my recipes. There's a lot of things I didn't get from my mom's house. Oh, and I could say some cuss words right now. So we'll still change the subject. Okay. Yep. DJ, I don't think that's true. That's what that's what well, man tried to tell me. And I tried it once and but I couldn't taste the sweetness through the salt. Ooh, I can see the heart coming together. Yeah. Slowly. 
Slowly. Million pieces. Well, I eliminated a lot of pieces. It'd be a miracle if the United States went without plastic bags. Yeah. Walmart, Walmart bags, I can't believe how thin they've even gotten them. <laughs> they are so thin. They are. I would say it all go back to the Do brown bags. Walmart charge you guys for bags, too? No. I mm -hmm. think so. You pay. Well, I know. Yeah, pretty much you're paying like three cents a bag. We pay five. If we everywhere in town. Nobody gives you bags for free anymore. We don't pay for them. It's added into your bill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, keep an eye on your bill, Karen, and look and see if you're charged for your bags. Okay. Maybe. Well, I know Meyer. I know Meyer does that, but I don't know if it's for the plastic or for the paper bags. I would like to have the paper bags back. Yeah, oh, they're going to charge 25 cents a paper bag here at our grocery stores once the plastic's gone. So, it's bring your own bag or pay that. What, um, what, um, what about the water bottles? Those have to go. Plastics, all the plastics have to be gone in Canada by the end of 2020. So are they bring wow. what glass products? In? I guess they'll be going back, or they'll be developing a different kind of plastic. They need to develop something that biodegradable and yes. something that is returnable. Yes. They need to. They need to go back to glass because glass can be remade into stuff all the time. Yeah, and right. also okay. it, over time, glass disintegrates. Plastic. Now that I didn't know, but I but plastic I did know. Plastic does not. No. If it's buried in your dump, it's there forever. It'll never disintegrate. But glass bottles do. And why they're doing all this is because the oceans are getting so overwhelmed with all the plastic. Yes. It's just it's horrible what mankind can do. It's well, that's not even litter like that. I can't. You know, not even as a kid was I ever tempted to do that. Well, not it's not just littering. It's it's say you take it to a dispensary, and they take and they throw it in the ocean. Uh -huh. Where are they going to put it? Mm -hmm. I've seen I've seen other countries. They just take great big old loads like and just dump it in the I, ocean. It's like what the hell are they thinking? makes me so mad i think martha's just thinking of a different store honey all these will all these will charge you for bags too but she says she just looked on a walmart receipt and there's nothing there's not a charge there for the bags well yeah we get charged for ours every single bag we use all these will too if you don't bring your own all these you got to pay to get you got to put a quarter in to get the go then to get the grocery cart oh just a quarter yeah really just a quarter we have to use a loony our What's shopping that? carts all cost a buck a oh, yeah. but do you get it back when you take the cart back yeah well nine times out of ten i don't take it back well <laughs> i leave it for the homeless to go and take that that's that's what you'll see at my Aldi's too. A lot of people going here. You need this cart? <laughs> yeah. Why not? I do that all the time. Yeah, one of our uh, one of our save a lots closed down, and you want to know why? Why? Because everybody was stealing their carts, and their carts are like 150 a piece. Oh. Wow. So. Okay, um, I don't know what her name is, 
with Chief Judge Kroger's and Fred Mar Myers charge five cents per paper bag. Yeah. So go. Yeah. I don't have a Myers. Ayla. Her name's Ayla. It's what? Ayla. Martha? Ayla. Ayla? Okay. I'm sorry, Ayla. Hi, Ayla. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mine is like that too. I didn't know if every all of them were like that though. All um, river. All these seams have to be nested, and they all look like they're going to nest nicely. I pressed them all the right way. I did something right for once. <clears throat> Yeah, I used to love to go up there to, um, oh, save a lot. But they closed the one closest to me, and the one they got open is way over on the other side of town. And it's like, well, yeah, I like they're like all these, you, you know, whatever boxes they have out, they set out there for you to put your stuff in. And no, a lot don't do that, but they don't charge for the bags either. But I love my save a lots. I've, I'm in between two different save a lots, and it's good because one, they have two different sales going on. <laughs> Yeah, I used to like to go buy their meats. Yeah. They have some good meat. And it was like the other day, I went to Walmart. Why didn't I go across the street to Aldi? You know, the only time I've been to Aldi is when I put an application in. Oh, I like all these. Their milk's like two fifty a gallon. That's a good price. I don't have the greatest joints, but I don't care here. Well, I got all my beads put away that made a mess on my table here. Everybody liked my necklace set. Everybody looked at it like, what is that? Did you go live last night? No. Oh. No, so I ran out of minutes. So I was looking up. I was looking up Streamlabs today, and every one of them's an OBS. No, it's not. In the Streamyard Streamlabs that I looked up, every one of them that was up there had that was an OBS. Well, then you're not you're not looking at the right thing because mine is not OBS at all. Well, you ought to send me a link. I if did, you would, please. I did send you one, and you said, oh, I'll check later. Oh, well, maybe I didn't check later then. Yeah, you obviously <laughs> did. You <laughs> check now while you're of it. There you go. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> well, by golly, you George, I'm going to have to go look it up then. Yes. I told you to download Streamlabs. You can stream as long as you want. You just can't have people on your panel right now. Yeah. Maybe they'll change it. I don't know. They might change it, but then they'll turn in the stream yard and start charging. Yeah, start really. Charging is right. <laughs> I thought about paying 25 bucks for the month to see how it goes. And it's like, well, why should I do that now when I'm going to get my 20 hours next month? So it's like... <laughs> Oh, there's a mailman or something in front of me. Thank you. You too. Ooh, I got a package. And I think I know what's wrong. I got my goodies. What are your goodies? Oh, from Green's Craft Fair. Okay. They were doing a sale, so I bought some stuff. Oh, and I need 
Hello. Hello, how are you? Won't you tell me your name? Hopefully, you put the other stuff in it that I wanted. And, uh, no, she didn't. Oh, what's this? Oh. I got, well, she sent me one, plus I bought one with the stamp area. Pink Christmas. I wanted so bad. Who sent you that? She bought it. Oh. I bought one and she sent me one. Who sent you one? Nikki. Oh, nice. But they're the eight by eights. And it's like, if I'm going to do a little mini album to put my kitty cat's pictures in, I'm going to need two of them. And these are double sided just as I thought. I really wanted the big one, but, huh, hmm. I think that's kind of hard to get now, isn't it? I don't know. I really don't know. But I think the 8x8 eight eight will work out pretty good. Okay, so I did that. And I got a, it says cookie and cake stencil, which is actually, um, it's a brick, a brick stencil. And it's small enough for like Santa house and all that miniatures. It's good for miniatures. Nice. Oh, cool. And then I got some, Aliens True Snow. Because I got to have snow to put on Santa's house. And then I got four different colors of, oh, let me read it. Glasses. Um, acrylic paint. Sparks. Art Alchemy Sparks Acrylic Paint. I got Night Shadow. <laughs> I got amethyst. Oh my god, this is beautiful. <laughs> and I got chest chest of gold. Wow. I love to do a mandala with these. Okay. I don't know, I should have one of the one they had. And green, green, green goblin. And she didn't send me. Oh, Nikki, I just thought of. Slap her silly. <laughs> oh, the pink Christmas is so pretty. Is that the one that Ruby made that house and stuff with? That the a album. Christmas no, I made an album with Pink Christmas. An album. Yeah, yeah. she made the album. They had that pink slate. Yes. Yeah, that was so pretty. And I'm not much of a pink girl neither, but I just, it's the kitty cat that got me in it. The kitty cat got me. <laughs> oh, yeah. A goofy girl. How many pineapple squares you have done? Let me see. I forget. Oh, come on. Ooh, it's kind of a, a moose. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I'm on number six. I don't think that's number what I really six. wanted, though. Yep, number six. Way to go. 
Yep. I'm you more than halfway through. By the time I'm finished, my 42. Water <laughs> resistant. I'm sure. Well, I'm you keep <laughs> switching around. What? You, you keep switching around doing other things. That's why. <laughs> that is super cute heart. I don't see Mary. Where's Mary? Mm, don't know. Uh, Maybe she's was she here? Was she here earlier? No, she's not here today. Huh. Oh. Hmm. I guess I'm thinking of last night. All right. Nope. Oh, there she is. She just popped in. Hi, Mary. We were Hello, looking for Mary. you. Hello, Mary. Oh, that one's going the wrong way. Snuck in there. Yes, I am. She was just asking where you were, and then you popped she in. She might have been here, just haven't been chatting, and I never saw anything come out of her mouth. I didn't see her neither. Mm -mm. She had a I have to alter my pattern, so don't make the one I put on Facebook. That one's a boo boo. Well, you ought to just delete that one then. I deleted it, so no one else could download it. All right, okay. So, like, we. I, I redo it. I have to redo it. <coughs> it's a big mistake. Whoops. I'm going to sprinkle some sugar on my tomato. Oh, my strawberries. I'm going to say sugar on tomato? Gross. She won't. She'll take them to chart to Margaret's. <laughs> Say what? Yes, he would be. Scott brought Chase here at 6.30. No, Scott brings him. Cassie goes to work. She has to be at work for 6.00. Scott drops him off at 6.30 and he has to be at work for 7. <laughs> All right. What's he do, Ruby? What? What's Scott do? He's a heavy-duty mechanic. No. Yeah. All right. There's the size of the heart now. Not so bad anymore. Not so bad. No, it's not. No, I'm loving that now. So now I need a piece of white fabric. Did you come in here? I don't know. Because the door's open. She may have. <laughs> and I'm just going to use a piece of pillowcase fabric. But I think I will iron it first. But let me get my piece I need first. All right. Ruby, have you heard from Sean? Yes, they're doing good. good. Everything's Great. okay with Nikki. Oh, good. Yeah, they're touring Hong Kong like crazy. But Aww. they got masks on. How long are they, where are they there for? Till Friday. Till Friday? Yeah, then Friday they go home. Normally keep the them masks on, on on the plane, too. They probably have to. What, Patsy? They're building a hospital fast. Are they? Yeah. Well, how fast can they build a hospital? I forget what they they're, said, they're, they're trying are. to get one done in what, like 10 days, they say? 10 like, days? Oh, Lord, I, yeah. They were showing it. They got all these people, and they were, I'm like, ooh, is that going to be safe? That sounds awful fast. Yeah, it does. Oh, well, you they know, there's a lot of room for oh. air trying to rub something in that fast. Oh, my God! What was that? Oh 
Why is she going after Tia? Because Tia walked on her. Tia uh -oh. can't see, but you can. What? Here, hold on. I don't want to go see Tia. Are they both okay? I don't know. We're going to check Tia. She left. Oh, poor Tia. Oh. It's really hard having an animal that's going blind and... No, for the most part, they can they can do for themselves. Oh, Tia did. Good, but still, I don't like yeah, well, doing that. That is bad! <laughs> oh, well, you can shake all you want. Tia's not going blind, Martha. She's totally blind now. Oh, she is totally yeah, blind. She's got cataracts from the diabetes. Yeah. yeah. Poor baby. Our pumpkin, or Fuzzbutt, she went blind, and the times that she ran into the furnitures and everything till she got to know her way around. and. Oh, Tia knows everything everywhere, as long as you don't change furniture around. Like right. Yeah, you can't do that to them. Right. Don't even look for her. Okay, so. Yeah. Patsy, just relax. They can defend for themselves. I know, but I don't like that. I know you don't, but there's not much you can do. You can't change a dog's nature. I'll change her nature. No, you won't. Always tax Tia. Hi, Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. Huh, hey, Phyllis. Phyllis. No, you lay down Which Phyllis is it? Uh, I'm looking up something. It's sh shadowing. Yeah, shadow. I got a cheat sheet here so somewhere. This is my this is my <laughs> Valentine project. Hey. Hey. Mary wanted Valentine's. Here you guys go. Here's your Valentine. Make a big ass bag. Because you're going to need it six, when the world turns days. green. <laughs> I'm putting some hefty pins in this just because I, you know, because I can't. Stand for anything to move. No, I don't want any of this to shift while I sew pieces together. Oh, no. Okay, we're on. Yeah. Well, Patsy, you can't do anything about it. Just punish her. Just give her no treat and scold her. That's all you can do. No treat, scold her, and don't let her up on you. And she'll know she's done wrong. I didn't let her up on me this time. I bet you she's hiding by me. Yes, she is. Don't you want to help her? She was over here because I Get felt bad. it. Geez, my spool of Nymo threads up to thirty dollars a spool. Ooh, ooh. What's that for? For all my beading. Beading. Oh, jeez. Can't you use fishing line? No. Not you when you do dangles. Line. Oh. You use fishing line and stuff like that for your bracelets and stuff, but not for earrings. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Let's have a drink of coffee. Sure. Oh, coffee. I got orange soda from Wally World. Thank you, Phyllis. How are you, sweetheart? Mm -hmm. And let's see. That sounds like someone's farting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hopefully it's their dogs and they're they're in the small room with two dogs parting. Oh my goodness! Oh Lord! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be good. <laughs> no. No, try being in the room with four dogs. <laughs> That's just plum lethal. Nylon white size old school two card. Well, other package sizes. Okay, let's look at that. 
Okay, I'm going to start taking pins out because I know I'm going to be wearing ah. these little witches. I'm on a size zero. Okay, so you're going to sew this all the way around. No openings. I know, ladies. She's just so bossy today. <laughs> Anxiety now. Why? Well, because Coco okay, really attacked. That's the first time Coco's ever done that to Tia that bad. It sounded bad. Coco bad. Coco, Tia walked on her because she can't see her there. Well, she may have stepped on his heart and he didn't like it, but she didn't mean it either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it must have hurt. Something did for her to do that. Yeah, but I'm Coco scared. won't back down. She, she'll go back at her. Yeah, and Coco she, won't back down. She just goes right back at her. Mm -hmm. She doesn't take her crap either, blind or not. Yeah, Tia gives it right back. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> I don't either. She's never done that before. In all the years you brought that dog here, that's the first time. I told you, scold her, put her in, make her stay in her bed, and don't let her up on you. That they learn. You gonna be okay, Patsy. You gonna be okay. Well, she's laying on her bed with her back to you, so she's got her back to you. Yeah. Patsy said she's got her back to her because she's pissed at her too. <laughs> she knows. She knows. Yeah. Yes, she does. She knows what she did. She no. knows what she did is right. Let her lay there. Yeah, don't baby her. Mm -hmm. Let her sulk. Yep. <laughs> Just like kids. Yeah, says hi ladies hi Jude hi Jude hi fellas I don't see Jude she says watching you guys on Ruby say hi to her and Karen for me there's dad dad back Morning again. From what I can remember. I can't 
can't see ay, Jude. Ay, 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 ay. I don't see Jude. She sent me a personal message. Oh, okay. <laughs> that I'm and I both looking for. <laughs> Hey, it's not right not yet. You look around a little bit, see if you can find her. <laughs> Crimp cover mix. Hi, Dai Dai. Hi, Dai Dai. get to the corners you're gonna trim right into the corner but not into your seam I don't see Jude she was on Martha's message she wasn't on here oh I was like, oh no, did she get blocked somehow? <laughs> Everybody thought she was in here. I'm clipping my corners. right into my right to my stitch line not cutting off my stitch line and I'm nipping all my corners off like that and I'm going pretty close to my stitch line here cutting off excess fabric look how pissed off she is she <laughs> turned her back to me Oh well, she'll learn. Yeah, she she'll be sucking up to you after a while. She'll be looking for lovin's in a little bit. No, oh, yeah. Patsy keeps exploring her. She'll come around. Oh yeah. Yep. her in her bed, ignoring her, she'll come around. She turned her back on the She by 30 and 13 3 millimeter I gotta call my friend and tell her I ain't going to church tonight. Okay, good. What are you doing? 
Do you know how? Yeah. Yeah, but you've never made it before. He's going to learn. Okay, well, I'll just come in there in a minute and show you, tell you what to put in it. That's all. It's not that easy because people make mushy meatloaf. Yeah. No mushy meatloaf. I have to do that tomorrow when I go out. Get some stuff for me, both. I guess he does. Some people like to, some people don't. Clipping every corner, making sure I do, but not clipping my seams. And you got to nick right in these corners here. You got to nick right to your stitching. Don't cut your stitching, but nick it right to it, or it's not going to pull out nice. Got to put like a notch in it. Okay, I got that done. You feeling a little better, Karen? I feel better, yeah, I do. Um, I need to take some day cool, but I'm afraid to get out in that night air. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all you need. Yeah, and, you know, I still got a little bit of a fever. Oh, definitely, um, yeah. You, need yeah, to yeah. you don't there. need to get other people sick. No. If you're sick, stay home. I don't know. There's some people I'd really like to breathe on right now. And that can fly. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go give Jeff a little heads up on what he's making. He's making the meatloaf, and I want to make sure he makes it right. Okay. okay. I will be a minute. Oh my gosh, this heart is going to be so pretty on the bag. Yes. And now we're going to applique it. We're going to applique it on white fabric. And then we're going to put interfacing on that. And we're just going to sew it all down nice and close like that all the way around onto our white fabric. And that will be our applique heart. We don't got to do no zigzag because I don't have zigzag anyway. I should take some. Well, all my hamburgers frozen though. I think I'm gonna pull some hamburger out so I can make me lift meat of tomorrow. I'm thinking of getting that at the grocery tomorrow when I go out. Huh? A piece of, so that's what I'm getting ready to do is write it on paper when I go out with my sister tomorrow. I'm gonna not go to the store. <laughs> yeah, she put you in the mood for meatloaf too. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. my fave. I've got everything I need. I've got the onions and stuff, but oh, I don't think I got green pepper. What is green. tomorrow? Uh, Thursday. Thursday. Uh,
Yeah, I'm looking. There are so many beads at Fire Mountain Gems to look at. It's just unbelievable. Oh, yeah, I've looked out there before. You can look at them for days. Well, I might as well look at the crystals while I'm here. <laughs> oh, why not? Why not? Nothing wrong with window shopping, Martha. Stop, put it on the cart, and then go back and say, oh, no, I don't need all that. Right. That's too much money. <laughs> That's too much money. Well, I definitely got to buy a $30 roll of thread because I've only got how long the yards left. Yeah, but how long will that last you, Martha? That's what I was getting right now. Well, this, this spool I have here, I've had for, what, 30 years? Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, there you go. It'll last I've got enough in there to last. Oh, uh, I don't know, another two years, maybe? Maybe. Let's get in your money for is almost done, ready to go in the pan. Okay. Yay. So let's, let's cut this. Probably don't need too big of a hole. And turn it all inside right. And then we gotta iron it. So, let's turn this iron Ooh, back on. pretty. Paradise. And be careful because you will rip that even bigger. Hey, Ruby, guess what? What? We're all making meat love tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Are you meat Mar Martha too? No. I don't know about Martha, but me and Kathy are. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> so see how yummy. important it is to cut right into your seam because where that's squared you really want that to lay flat <coughs> bless you thank you bless you, thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Hmm, 2.5 millimeter bicone. That one doesn't. Add to cart. You gotta kind of work it a little bit. <laughs> Now that gets rid of the easiest way. Instead of turning all your seams under and then pressing them and then sewing them, this is the easiest, fastest way to do this. So I'm just going to push all these out because I made the <coughs> point small enough. Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy. Oh, there it is. Okay, I want to go back to first page. Three millimeter there. Okay. Now what do I want to look at? And then run the fork across it like I do and then put the sauce on them and run the fork on it. 
I'm done looking. I am done looking. Oh, Marcy, you know where you need to look? Shh. Shh. For that wire? Where is it? Oh, no, I don't know. And see how much it is there and put it in a 40% coupon. Do what, honey? <clears throat> Go to Hobby Lobby, put in your, um, um, whatever your wire is and see how much it is there and use the 40% off coupon. Uh, they don't have spools of thread big enough. All they have is the little round, tiny bobbins of thread. Oh, okay. Then I ordered some 2.5 and 3 millimeter crystals. But what color? Look at that. Regular, regular, see-through, you know. Oh, okay, clear. Clear, yeah. Because they go with any color, other, other color you want to use. Yeah. Yes. It's hard to bring cotton. Set it right on the thing, on the label. I'll probably order them at the end of the month. But then it's like, oh, maybe I should just take a trip up to Frankenmuth and go to Bead Haven. Oh, I love that store. Well, you know, I might make her a small one, my choice. You, you never know what you might find on sale, too. Just yeah, I don't think, I don't think they have the big spools of thread, neither. Bummer. Looks really good, huh? <laughs> no. I put onion soup mix. Lipton's. I don't put onions in it. Okay, one more to pop out. And I, hey, I got two more packages one. of the hamburger. Most likely it's going to be made into tacos again. Me. There. No. there. I've been trying to walk on hamburger and kidney beans over bread, too. Oh, I'm God God. Oh. Make me a with me and Kathy. No. No. Oh. All right. I still have more to pop out here. I didn't see these ones. I got garlic bread in the oven. Ooh, Ooh yum. yum. Oh. Is it the Texas sized toast ones? Uh huh? Texas toast. What'd you say, Martha? Is it the big, thick Texas toast ones? Yeah. What do you guys think of my, mm. my heart? Oh, it's colorful. Beautiful. I got to make you got to make another one of these. You have to have two. One for the front and one for the back. Yes. <sighs> and when you go into the grocery store, people are going to envy you for your your bags. Mhm. Mm They'll you get you out in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> she said she puts onion soup mix in her meatloaf. Yes, Shadow. Yes, I do. I put uh, Lipton oh. onion soup mix. I put half a package. Breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and two eggs. And wow. And I pack it, pack it down really well. And it binds, the, the eggs really bind it nice. So when you slice it, it's nice and firm. Mm-hmm. Only use one egg. Well, because I'm making a big loaf. Well, I was going to say, you make it probably bigger than I do. Yes. Yeah, because I use one egg, but I also have to put green pepper in mine. I have to have a green pepper. Mm-hmm. Me too. And celery. And carrot, carrot on top. <laughs> ketchup on top. <laughs> I can't well, I gotta have ketchup on top of my meatloaf. Tomato sauce. I put barbecue sauce on top, and then I just let it bake. It smells amazeballs. I have had meatloaf with barbecue on it, and that was very good. Yeah, my brother makes his like that. He likes it like that, but I put ketchup in mine. 
Oh, no, I use tomato sauce. Never heard of barbecue on it. Oh, it smells so good when it's cooking. <laughs> you know, Ruby's always told me that she makes it that way, and I think it was uh, this last Christmas party or last New Year's party, I don't remember, some party they had at the caboose, and they had some food left over, so he gave me a little piece of that meatloaf, and it had the barbecue on it, and I tell you what, it was really tasty, and he was a pretty damn good cook. It is good. It, my brother's is anyway. <laughs> Sharon Ross says, we'll have to watch later to see what you did after sewing together. Had phone call, missed what you did. Oh, okay. All right. Rachel uses bread and egg, but my meatloaf comes out soft and juicy. Look at how nice and flat that is. That is your, that will be what you call an applique. Right. That's all the things are turned in for you, so it's going to be super easy. Now I'm going to sew this onto a white piece of fabric, and then I'm going to put um, interfacing on the back of this first, or no, on the back of the white, and then I'm going to put it between batting, and then I'm going to stitch in the ditch on all these squares. I might even put an X in all the squares. Maybe I should do that. Just go straight down on a diagonal and put an X through all the squares. I think that'll look super good. That would be Let's cute. Let's do that. Yeah. Worth a try. Yep. So it needs a white background. So I need another pillowcase. case. So I don't know if that one's going to... Is this one big enough to hold my applique? No. That one's too small. And this here is what I'm using for my lining. This will be my lining. So this here, I'm going to, this white square is going to determine the size of my bag now. So, let's get it ironed first. I love garlic bread with ribs. With what? Ribs. Oh, yum. Oh. How do you do your ribs, Karen? Well, I didn't cook these. My friend did, but she used a slow cooker and cooked them in her favorite sauce. Oh, Bye, nice. Phyllis. See you later. Bye, Phyllis. Bye. Right. Bye, Phyllis. You just took me up what, yesterday before I left. But usually I boil mine and I like a can of beer in there. It makes them softer to me. Do you take the silver off of them? No. I do. It makes them even more tender. I don't do that. I don't think it's on the pork ones. That's what they're on, pork. I don't know. I've never noticed it on there. I know it's on the um, baby back beef ribs, but I boil them until they're soft. And when they get almost soft, I dump most of the water out and then put in the stuff. Right. All right. Now we need to determine how big this bag is actually going to be now. So, this is the 
backing. So I'm only, oh wait, I'm gonna leave some room up because I'm binding this. So I'll go by half an inch. Yeah, no, we have two Phillipses. <laughs> what? We have two Phyllises and one left. <laughs> Shadow says, I'm still here. <laughs> okay, I'm hold this because I want to get a nice even piece of fabric. This, These are those pillowcases I bought. This is really thick white cotton and I really, really like and that's why I had to use a bit of water to iron it. Mm. Okay. Did so. Jeff ever find your pillow forms the other day? No, I ordered them from uh, Walmart because it said not sold in stores right online. Oh. Yeah, so. I couldn't believe the price for them pillowcases. I am going Wonder. to leave one inch on either side of this. Uh, it's my cutter. Um, the heart. Because I don't want it to end up in my side seams. <sighs> One inch. Whoops, what am I doing? I'm not good at cutting with left hand, but I'll try. Nope. Can't do. No, can do. We are glad you're still here, Phyllis. Yes, we are. So I'm cutting one inch all the way around. That will leave me room for my binding. And now, now that we've got the sides nice and straight, sort of, good enough. That's not really straight in the middle there. Where it's folded. Let's straighten that up. Now it is. It's straight. Mary says, Ruby, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Oh, really? Dang. I hear fine. Anybody else? Usually, usually when ruby started using this stream um i had to turn my volume up to 100 to hear her and oh, i can I barely her. hear her now but i've got it on 60 and i can hear her just fine hmm. yeah i hear her good too but we're also in chat with her and i don't know if that makes a difference or not yeah, yeah i don't know all right so we'll go one inch in length. I'll say that's about one inch. We'll cut one inch over here. And then that's the size of our piece. So I'm going to measure this so I know how big it is. So this is pretty big but let me see if, no this is too big oh it went this way okay it's just a wide bag okay that's fine I don't mind it being wide just don't want it being make sure your slider on this video is slid all the way over Mary it is. my slider won't go up anymore she's talking no. to Mary yeah. Oh, Mary. Yeah. Okay. So I don't want any of this to end up in any of my seams. So there's the piece. It is 22 by. Well, in order for me to make tea, I have to go wash a pot. 22 by. I'll be back. 10 by 20 and a quarter. That can't be 22. It is. It's 22 by 20 and a quarter. 
22 by 20 in that corner. All right. Now we're going to pin this again because we're going to stitch all around this. Because we're appliquing it now and it'll be permanent here. All finished on the white. And I think it really stands out lovely on the white. Thank you, Mom. I'm actually not going to make two of these. I'm just going to make, uh, I'm just going to take those pieces and make a strip for the back. I'm going to make, I'm not going to make another heart. I'm just going to leave it. This will be the front of my bag. So mm -hmm. that's all. You don't need to make two hearts. You can if you want, but I don't want to. <laughs> Does that help? I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the strips. Leftover strips. And I'm just going to make a backing. Cut it down to this size. For the other side. Hi, Hazel. Hello, Hazel. Mary, what I mean is move your mouse. Over top of the video player that's going on right now. Can you move your mouse? Let's you'll see look if it's down. Turned all the way up. You'll see um, a little red dot, and right beside it, it says live. <clears throat> but then you'll see a speaker. Hoover over that speaker thing. It'll be on the left hand side. Hoover over that and see where that white button is. Oh, this has got my quarter inch foot on this. This here is really hard. Well, not really. If I bottle that pedal, it'll work. Okay. So I'm basically doing a very close to the edge stitch as I can. Nope, I need to take one more. Do you see what I mean, Mary? speaker icon, Mary. Ow. She's not replying, so I don't know, Ruby. She might be fidgeting with it. Yeah. Like that door shut. Yeah, but what if maple starts? Yeah. Want it open? Yes. She said no problem because I'm on my iPad. There was a lot of background noise. It's gone now.
Did I miss that? Did I get it? We shall find out. Uh, I think I missed it. So I'm just going to run right back over top of this here. Because of this stupid quarter inch foot that's pushing this. These pins hate me, I know they do. This is looking, this looks really nice. It needs to be quilted though. Welcome back, Kathleen. Welcome back, who? Kathleen. Welcome back, Kathleen. Kathleen. Okay. 
I called that part. Oh, oh, are you done? I'm done this front. No. Now, where else did I have that thread? Right here. Now, we'll flip it over. Cut off all the threads. Looks pretty darn good. What do you guys think of that? Love it. That is super cute. Ooh. That's going to make a really nice big grocery bag. All right. Now, let's see. It's going to be a nice size, ain't it? I didn't cut up all the pieces, did I? Yeah, it is. I'm actually going to do something. That's what you need. What? Just use those plastic ones that, um, that we bought before. Yeah. And meat. You don't want to put the meat in there. No. I'm going to smoke all the corners. Are you? Yeah. Turn them to triangles. <laughs> back someday. And you hear that? Someday. Um, you know what I gotta do. Yep. Yeah. I really don't even want it. Oh, I like the corner snowballed. Once I get Pat all wrapped in his room clean, well, most of it. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'll be there when he comes home from surgery. And Whoa! My yeah. foot slipped on it. like corner snowballed I just think it gives you that it's like it's a, a finished piece now Doesn't I agree like with that uh, let's do a little piece of the owl more and you have a quilt. Are you crazy, Kathleen? I don't want to make three more of these. <laughs> Too much work. Mind you, that's, that was, that's a pretty big quilt block. How <laughs> <laughs> about that? Kathy, did Martha leave us? She went to make tea. Oh, and okay. do some dishes, I think. Oh, okay. There. I like my little, aw, I like my little snowballed corners. So <laughs> cute. But this here is going to have binding on the top of it because I'm binding my bag. I'm going to put the lining and everything together like that. So I'm going to work on the back now, see what I can make up the back. Um, what do I do with all those strips? They're right here. So I'm just going to sew these together. Bye, Sharon. Have a nice evening. 
Bye, Sharon. Now let's see how Ruby did at the corners. That's a snowball, hon. <clears throat> so I should actually, hang on. I should measure the pieces I need. And I already forget how much I said this was. So, I want the stripes to go this way, so I need them to be this long, 20, so 40 and 3 eighths, or 20 and 3 eighths, not 40, so 20 and 3 eighths, so this way I don't have to sew all these strips, I could probably use Twenty and three eighths. pieces. We got that one. We'll use this one next. Oh, that's the one I saw. Somebody coming to the door is that why Nicole's barking? Yeah, so we have this one. And we didn't cut the owl. Well which one did I cut? I only cut these two. Okay, I'm losing my head. I just finished cutting this one. Okay, so that's an extra one. I got the purple. And I got the pink. I only cut one. I couldn't have. I couldn't have. I might have cut this one. I just didn't cut it in half, right? No. I don't know what I did. One, two. There's only three pieces there. Okay. There's 20. So yeah, one of those. I'm just gonna lay this out. I don't know how big I need this. We'll do this one next. We will do that one next that one next and this one next so 
sew those. That's not going to be very wide. So I'm going to do these last two. As long as it's wide enough as the front, that's all you need. No, it. I gotta make it still all the same width. Yeah. Same width, same length as the bag. Yes. Yeah, twenty and three eighths. And we'll put that one there. We'll do this one next. And that one there. And then that one. Okay, so I'm going to sew these. Keep these in my order. That way I don't have to sew all the way. And if this isn't enough, then I'll just start all over again with those colors. Talk to her. No, I did not. It'll be like a month before I get back from her. Delic. Let me see. Now, this was the right length, right? Right. Now, I want to put another 
drip for sure. But it's just too short. <coughs> Yuck. I got fuzzy balls Pull it in. in my... Pull it in. I don't like fuzzies in my mouth. was not nice. That was not nice at all. Oh, Busted my needle. Broken needle? Yes. I'm not. I don't know. It's going too fast. It's going too fast, but this is what this machine's meant for. Oh no, that's not what broke off. What? My needle didn't break. <laughs> I don't know, something popped off my machine. I've seen it fly. Robo Gorge. I thought it was the needle. There's Martha. Yeah, I had to do up some dishes so I could make tea. Okay. Did you see it fly? Yes. I don't know what it All was. All my saucepans were used. Hmm. But it was not my needle. I'm gonna say, why would my needle break? That's so thin of fabric. Oh, gee, I no, I'm not talking to you still. Oh, dog grounded. Dog grounded. I don't either. I don't. I don't see anything missing. That was weird, though. Maybe it's just a piece of material. Could have been a piece of fluff. Unless it was something off my aggressive foot. I don't know. Go it in. Go it in. It's not my needle. No. Could have been a piece of fluff. I don't know. Probably. Yeah. My dog is going to drive me crazy. She keeps coming over to me because she wakes up on the couch with me. <laughs> I just won't go so fast. Just in case that happens again. Pretty psychedelic, this Tula Pink stuff. Can't say it's my favorite. I'm not a big fan of watercolor, like psychedelic stuff like this. So, I would never make a quilt out of this fabric. Oh my god, look at that. What? Look at those ones we It would make people dizzy. My head is spinning like a whirlwind before they came. She's got to get on the same age as these marathons or songs. Oh, I put two owls beside each other. Oh well, say la vie. It's a bag. It's a bag. Pretty sure they're not gonna go. Oh look, you put two owl fabrics together. If they do, they're too close. Yeah, if they do, I'll be like, get away from me. <laughs> this is my space. Unless you're, gonna pay, unless you're paying for my groceries, get away from me. <laughs> oh, sounds like my water's bubbling. I'm pretty sure they're not going to volunteer to pay for my groceries.
start all over again. How big that is. If it's big enough. Probably not. <laughs> but it's getting there. <laughs> Alright. We want them the same size. No, I wasn't typing. It wasn't me. Oh, well then I don't know. I thought it was you. <clears throat> One more. One more strip. We got our back. I was on mute. I don't know what that was. Wasn't me, that's for sure. I ain't typing nothing. Okay, and I'm going to use these to make the straps. Here, I'll type something. <laughs> that sounds like a horse running through. Oh, look, Martha, you just deleted your windows. <laughs> Uh, my computer got come back already. So I got my other computer back, the one that Chase dropped. Oh. Dell fixed it all up and sent it all back to me. I got it today. Yeah. All right. Let me measure. Make sure. I might have to trim off a little bit on each each side to get it to be perfect, but I gotta iron it now because the ironing will tell its true size. And put those there because we will be. And I'm going to snowball the corners with white. Rock you. Where's my white? I'm going to cut some two and a half by two and a half inch squares off of here. Let's turn the iron on because I ain't going to get nothing iron like that. Oh, you're whoa, here. whoa. Okay, that's turned on. That's out of the way my scraps <coughs> and I do not want to cut these on the bias I just need four of them so. well I'm not a drink now jeez you okay Martha yeah I just gotta get up again Aww. <laughs> I know it it sucks to <clears throat> me dang it <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Why? Because it seems to have a lot of stick. Stick. Well, it's sticking because it's junked. It's what? Junked up. Gunked up. You know what? I'm going to do this while that iron's heating up. Take me a split second. Oh, shoot. That was only half a triangle. That was where it was folded and cut. <laughs> now we have true ones. Oh, I can't do the corners. Never mind. I have to iron this because I might have to trim a wee bit off. I think this is pretty. Even though I don't like the fabric. I'm not a huge fan of this fabric. And I'm using this. This is going to be my lining inside. So it all can stay psychedelic. I'll give this a little press. I'm going to press my little So you're going to applique the heart onto that right there? It's already applique. No. No, no, no. This is going to get uh, interfacing on it, and then I'm just going to quilt it quickly with diagonals and axes. You know, that's it. And then it's going to get, uh, well, it's going to get batting. And this has got to get batting too because I gotta, I gotta do something with this. I might quilt this on diagonals too. Okay, so the one piece is going to be the back, and that the heart's yeah. going to be the front. This is the okay. front of my bag. This will be the back. And then we will make a bottom. But see, I knew it was just a wee bit bigger, but I don't want to trim it off yet till I press it. Right. Right. And okay. then gotcha. I will snowball the corners with white. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, so they all match. We like, we like snowballing. Yeah. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Martha, be nice. She wasn't flapping through the screen, now she. Oh, what to drink. All right. It's ready. And it's shiny. Beer, having root beer. Do 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 The other. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Hello, kitty cat. You wake up from your nappy poo. Trim it. Trim it down. 
because it's all nicely, nicely pressed. It's all nicely pressed. Oh, it's so nicely pressed. Put your whining and just like it. I don't. I'm not a flowering person. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, I'll be gone tomorrow. She's going home tomorrow. Oh, no. She's got Can't to. She... My brother's. Her brother, her twin, is having yeah. shoulder surgery. And she's going to go home and cook him some meals and put them in the freezer for him and be there on the day he gets out of his surgery. Okay. Yeah. She coming back? Yep. Okay. She doesn't even want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Heck no, she got free room and board, good food. What I'm else do you want? At my home. <laughs> <laughs> What's he having done to his shoulder, Patsy? Rotator cup. Nah, that's what oh. I thought. That's gonna hurt. Yep. And you know men, they're big wah wahs. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. One more side to trim, and this is squared up, ready to be quilted. No, it's not ready. I gotta get the muslin ready and the batting. This is going to be a very wide bag. Oh, and I got to get the the bottom. So the bottom is going to be we're going to be boxing the corners, and there it's going to have an eight-inch bottom. Are you putting in the bottom? For I'm gonna strength? I'm gonna use uh, get a piece of hard plastic. You know those cutting boards? Oh, the dollar store <laughs> ones. You can still cut them. People cut um, stencils out of them. Really? Yeah. yeah, I know what you're doing. And I'm going to three in a pack. Yeah, you get three in a pack, and I'm going to use that for the bottom. Huh. Yeah, I want it to be uh, eight inches wide. Mm. Nice. Don't forget, part of this. So if I make this bag eight inches wide, this is going to end up being that short because you've got to take off two inches here and two inches here. So that will kind of be like the heart will go around the sides. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 All right. So I'm going to snowball my corners just as soon as I press these things. I'm going to press. Snowballing the corners. All right. This is white. <laughs> Nobody's typing, Mary. I don't know what you hear. She had that on there for a little while. Well, if you hear it, re refresh. The only thing I can think of is that she hears me at these stores. Stop typing, please. Mary, refresh your page because nobody's typing. Yeah.
You're welcome. I'm hearing that ticking noise too. And it sounds like someone's typing. I don't hear it at all. I don't either. I, I don't hear it. I hear it clear as a bell. I don't know what it is. It sounds like someone has their fingernails typing on a keyboard. Tapping your fingernails on a keyboard. That's what it sounds like to me. Well, I'm typing and I don't have no fingernails. When Not me. Goes up, go, in, go in no. and check it at two hours and 39 minutes and listen to that noise. I hear it clear as a bell, like someone's literally typing. And it even my, the speaker for the desktop, it keeps coming on. So it's ma something's making a noise. Huh. Weird. That must be on your end. I don't know. I don't have anything even open here. I don't hear it. I do. Huh? I don't hear anything. All right. <coughs> There's me front and there's me back of my heart bag. And that's all I'm doing today. Do you like it? Do you think you guys will like this? Yes. I don't know what I'm going to use for. Oh, I know what I'll use for the bottom. I'll just use. I'm not so energetic dark enough. and drab. What? Because it'll get dirty, dirty, dirty. What, Mar Martha? The bottom will get dirty, so use something. Yeah, something that's not going to show dirt. Tia has eaten already. Yes. Yeah, my dad says she don't care nothing either. Huh? Dada says she doesn't care either. Oh, I do. It stops. Right now, it stops. Yeah, it stops. Yeah, yeah. Is that why that green thing is going? No, I'll show you the secondary microphone. The secondary microphone is... Where's my mouse? Do you have any, like, waterproof material or anything like that? No, I don't. Well, that's a bummer. That would be perfect for the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on the inside. All right. <coughs> yeah. Hi, Dai Dai. Welcome back on. I'll show you the secondary microphone. You'll see it. Watch it go up. There you go. See? Okay, the microphone down here, this one here, is me talking. Yeah. Look at how both my microphones are going. I see that. They shouldn't be moving at all. Nobody's it even talking. That, would it? What? It won't be that, would it? It could be the fans. I don't know. It just gets so hot in here. No, they're still back down. Oh my god, the phone. Why do they call it this time of night? Hmm. Well, I'll figure out something for the bottom. What? I don't know. I just haven't... No idea yet. But I do want it 8 inches wide. I want an 8 inch wide bottom because I want this to be I want this to be a big bag Let's do about a 10 inch bottom no because then it's too big and you'll overstuff it yeah and I got to put straps on this yet but I got to get it more sturdy because the stability of this is really not that great this white you can see through it it's pretty thin not thin but it's white you can see through white with that ugly material that we put on top of the blanket but i do want to quilt this and i want to quilt what with that ugly material dad i said she got rid of her visitors <laughs> and i want to quilt this just kicked them out the door didn't you die die <laughs> Put a double thickness of white. A what? Double thickness of white. No, no, I'm going to put uh, interfacing on here and batting and muslin. And then I'm going to oh, okay. quilt the stars, or stars, 
I'm going to quilt the heart all on a diagonal, so I'm going to make X's. Yeah. All of these diamonds, they're going to have X's. <sighs> that will be pretty. But I got a feeling it's going to pucker on me because it's applique. Oh. Not much I can do about that. Yeah. It's still, it still turned out pretty. The heart. <laughs> she said she did. <laughs> uh. Super cute. Okay, guys, I'm going to get going because uh, it's 10 to 6. It's almost supper time, and then I'm going to relax because Chase Kate kept me on my toes all day, and I'm tired. I don't know why. He came at 6.30 this morning. So you're having meatloaf? Yes. Oh, I forgot to show you guys, though, one thing. The new Blockheads 3 third pattern has been released today. So I'll be making this one tomorrow, or, or one day this week. That is called Crown and Star. So that's the pattern. So this is the Blockheads 3 pattern. I can't see it yet. It is Block 3. <laughs> These ones here don't see the blocks on them. But this block three is by Betsy Chuchuyin. And I'll be making the six inch block here. That's Ooh, all I mean. It looks like a lot of cutting in that one. They're all a lot of cutting. Wow. Yeah, she's a designer for Moda. Is she? Yes. I like Moda's, um, those rolls they make. I can't think of what it is. Jelly rolls. Jelly rolls. Jelly yeah, rolls. I like how they do the sides. Um, put that wave in it so they don't unravel. Yeah. This is a jelly roll for Moda. Why am I sneezing so much? God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Yep, so I got to make this block and add it to my nice little purple box sitting up here beside me. Poor oh, baby girl. So this was just released, I think, late last night or early today. So you have to go to that page I linked in my video the other day, and you need to download block three. <clears throat> And that's ready. So it is one block a week. 56 weeks. Of, this is the third week. I had no idea it was the third week. So it's 56 week, weeks, one block per week. And then you put it all together. Then you will put, you will have 56 blocks. They must have a reason why there's 56 blocks. Isn't that a year? So if it's a year and four weeks, a year and a month. Maybe the extra for for the corner. Pamela, I would like you to explain what a jelly roll is. I will show her. <clears throat> Pamela, this is a jelly roll. This is two and a half inch strips. And it can only be called a jelly roll if it was a Moda design. And this is Robert Kaufman. So this here is not a jelly roll it would be a two and a half inch roll so this Which is everybody still calls them jelly rolls though yeah everyone still calls them jelly rolls but technically if it's not made by moda because moda has the trademark name of jelly roll layer cake uh, all those so everyone calls the companies that make fabrics call these roll ups or rolls and they call them 10 inch squares. Looks like a cinnamon bun to me. <laughs> they have yeah, a cinnamon bun a, too. This is a full jelly roll of 40 pieces of fabric, 2.8 2, 2. yards. But this is an older jelly roll. This is a Christmas one and I had all I have all the coordinating fabrics with that. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna make with this, but I've had this for a few years. But this is what you would call a jelly roll a roll up but this is two and a half inch across 40 to 42 
uh, pieces per roll. So this one only has 40. Most of them have 42 pieces. This one it, usually, it will usually have every pattern that's in that line. Oh, yeah. It's got a copy. Of, it'll have two pieces usually of every fabric that's in that line. So you would get two long pieces. When you roll this out, there are long pieces like this, what I've been using. I just cut this in half. So it would be double this size, two and a half. This was originally a jelly roll from Moda, from Tula Pink. She was the designer of this fabric. Robert Kaufman fabrics. And it's, it's beautiful just, hello, fabric. my name. Hello, my name is Roll Up. This one's called a Roll Up. Strange. 50 to 90 dollars to buy jelly roll there yeah mm. you can just take a big hunk of fabric and cut what does it say 2.8 yards get 2.8 yards and cut them to two and a half inch strips and you got yourself a jelly roll there you Hi, go. dude yeah that's expensive wow. but anyway all right my loves you have yourself a great night ladies all of you guys thank you so much Oh, Pamela, you get them from any fabric shop. They sell the jelly rolls, the roll ups. You can Amazon, get them from anywhere. Any fabric shop. Or online. Always online. That's where I buy mine. Online. <clears throat> Bye, everyone. All right, everyone. God Bye. bless. Bye. Two Bye. Two more Bye. Days to the giveaway. Oh, Friday, the giveaway, yeah. Yes, two more days to the giveaway of that. Uh, Peace. I so, forgot about that. Don't Maybe you ought to comment. recap on what they got to do. What? Recap on what they have to do. They got to go comment under the video to win this. They got to go comment under the video if they want this as a pillow <coughs> or a wall hanging. If you want it as a wall hanging, you're only going to get enough strips to bind it all the way around and the thing to hang it with. A pillow, you're going to get two pieces of this fabric here that will finish off the pillow and <coughs> just turn it right sides out like I did with mine. So you got to go comment under the video that says wall hanging. Uh giveaway or contest or something go back a couple videos you'll find it look for the title and go comment there so i'll be doing i'll be picking a random comment with a youtube random comment picker and whoever wins wins but you got to tell me under you have to comment or you're not going to win you have to say in your comment either you want a pillow or you'd like to win the wall hanging so one or the other and you will get this, and I have signed it, and I have dated it. Okay, it's signed and dated, January 25th, 2020. Okay. All right, guys. It's almost as big as this. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is nice and poofy. It's nice. Love it. It's flat right here, though, where I signed it. Do not iron this. Do not ever iron this. Okay, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful. I'll be a lot earlier tomorrow. So have a good evening. Bye-bye.